Good evening, good afternoon, and good morning. My name is Frozen Mullen, and today we'll be continuing on with our major arena run. We really are doing quite well with this deck, and I don't know what is going on. Uh, so sometimes it's just one of those things where, you know, a deck with a below average card value or things like that just seems to be just running over opponents. You get good draws, you get the good games, and you play really well. But anyway, well, let's just jump into the next one. Jaina versus Arthas. Sorry, Jaina. There's nothing I should worry about, right, Arthas? Okay. Paladin. I do have secrets, should toss both of those, but I might actually just keep the Keller Ghost for the exact same reason I did in the last one. Um this technically is a two drop into the four drop, so I will keep that as well. So it might seem really unusual in the way of kind of what I'm doing. Like why I'm actually kind of keeping cards in hand or things like that. So a lot of the things we're going to be going against are pretty much yeah, we'll put this, going to be a lot better cards than myself. With that being the case, I'd rather turn around and be able to do something about them when they come and get played in the first place. Uh, oh my dog. Ooh, show the secret. So I need to have at least some way to kind of beat those. Is pretty much what the plan is. And we're looking like we have started off fairly well. Because, yeah, if I don't gain those sort of early advantages and leverage them really well into sort of late game cards, the issue is I just then don't have enough pressure on board at any point. So this is something here where Paladin normally have a lot of buff spells. So it is worthwhile removing them off the board there. I know it sounds like counterintuitive to think, well, why did you make the trade? You could have put five to face or things like that. Paladin is normally a route of on that sort of buff mechanic, which I don't really want to play around, to be honest. Good news here is I can just do this. They've now can only play a five drop and they can't kill off their minion. They try and kill off their minion, there's a chance it won't succeed and I can get value to face. If they try and do anything else, then that's fine, but they still might lose their minion. So we'll freeze that. Push that to face. Here now, it's worth me just bringing that back to hand. Because at the moment, I'm basically just playing a slower game than they are. Like, I've got to try and eliminate them down as quickly as I can, and this is a good way of doing it. Uh, you really do love it when, when a plan comes together like that. So, yeah, my 7 drops is just for play. Play it again. They have to trade both these into that if they want to play spells. And again, that's fine by me. The playing minions, I don't really see why they traded in that. They kind of need to get the damage to face, and that was a good opportunity for them to do it. Because I'm more likely going to trade, but I guess they don't want to take any more damage, which... Quite interlinked to the idea that they don't have any healing. Reporting for duty. So, let's discover for a good spell. And... Is that any good? Kind of is. 
prevents divine shields from doing anything. Plus also, you know, it's going to clear their board with the spells and stuff like that. Mm. Could have this up, which should give me more minions, which is probably a good idea, actually. So, that's what we'll do. Freeze that. It is weird to think how many of those skeletons I've actually <laughs> got on board. I know the counter is to do with like the Kalthazod for the mage, which uh, I think like deals more damage the more I've died or things like that. I don't really know what the mechanics of it are, but it's kind of hilarious that my deck doesn't even revolve around <laughs> these volatile skeletons, but I've already got like five of them are going to die, or six of them now are going to die. And I still got one more in hand, so... You're going to destroy that yourself, are you? Or are you going to hope that goes off? So here I don't really want to play minions that are going to uh, kind of do things for me as such. Bring in the party. Yeah, it'll grow back. Magic bars. I will hit that. We'll ping that down. It removes it from the board. Less attack damage. My opponent's really stuck with what's on board, and yes, they can silence my minions, but they also silence their own. So it doesn't exactly help. They're going to misplay. Let's hope they don't misplay. Because <laughs> I've had so many hard games with decks that I thought were good, and then I get games like where I'm kind of winning without doing too much. But yeah, they really are trying to figure out what they've got to do. Yeah, because you lose the taunt anyway, so I can just push damage to face. And if you're trying to value trade, this isn't really the time you'd be doing that. You just need to clear stuff off the board, because I'm going to push as much to face as I can. This is not fair. Fresh wounds. Uh. They've got six. They'd have to kill it several different ways. They don't have enough to get through it, and I should play as much out as I can. Mind if I roll me? The end of each turn, I hate with that so much. <laughs> and, and this is kind of what I meant when I said that I'm going to come against decks that are literally going to end up kind of outvaluing me in the long run. For duty. I do have the Stoneborn General. Um, that does save me here. Top deck it. Hmm. There's no point doing anything else here. Because, I mean, I could hit that, but the two damage doesn't go off anyway. And 
by letting them trade into the minions, it's going to be a lot better for me. They can't set anything lower to three this turn round, so that works into my advantage as well. They're running fairly low on resources, so... God, I really cannot believe this stuff. I really can. Um, Where you followed? I gotta hope they hit me with the dragon first. They might be silly and try to. There's no point in them trading. Maybe the 1-1 one, one into the 2-1. That's about it. The rest might as well just go face at this point. Otherwise you're chasing the 8-8 eight, eight into the 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, now that gives them away, doesn't it? Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> but I lose, don't I? True silver? Oh, better yet. Uh... <laughs> oh my god, I... You know what? I'm going to say it now. I do not believe that I have seen any better top techs from anyone ever in any game. Uh, <laughs> like, I played that, I don't think I played it badly, I don't know if I made any mistakes, I mean, I'll have a look back at the video, but yeah, um, my opponent drew just like the best card out of their decks, probably consistently ever since they played that dragon and I probably should have locked them out of it if I could have done which is kind of my own fault maybe but I wasn't expecting an elixir to come down again that much value there's just yeah but anyway if you do enjoy the video do leave a like subscribe to see more and I'll see you all in the next one take care